anything that happens to that child is your fault. Because you could have waited until you were financially, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally stable before you brought her into this fucking war zone that we live in. Knowing the everyday climate, knowing that the coach at the school that is 40 fucking years old wants to fuck your daughter with no condom daily. Knowing that you do not have the money to get down the fucking road. You had to get a ride to go take the fucking pregnancy test. Somebody else had to give you gas money because the nigga that got you pregnant don't got no fucking money. To the Big Facts Podcast, I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in, Sean Williams and every coach around the nation, are you fucking serious? Um... Where do I need to start at? Do I need to start at the three S's? Let's talk about what's going on in your neighborhood right now. Let's talk about this story first. Fuck it. But this story is what's going on in your neighborhood too. So this this is, everything is unanimous. It's all, this all going on at the same time. Alright, so Sean Williams had just been arrested on rape charges um, after... A 15-year-old's mother took her to the fucking doctor and found out she was pregnant. Um, however the shit came out, it came out. Everybody on top of this shit, it, it's fucking. This nigga was getting, he a head coach at this school. Just like the coach at your school, at your child's school. He was a football star. When he, he went to, it, this just happened in Bedford, Ohio. Um, my homeboy stayed in that. It's from there. Uh, Katrina Gibbs is from Ohio. I'm, I'm not sure. She's she from somewhere called Short Town. I think it was called Short Town. And she'll probably be a real gangster. Uh, if you do not, Katrina Gibbs is the host creator of Conversation With Me. If you have not subscribed to her channel, I hope that you're new to this channel. You don't fuck with her, you don't fuck with me. Also, shout out to my nigga Big C. Uh, that's my nigga up there. But I have to try my hardest to keep certain areas where AO Nation members are there. I have to try to keep it safe. So, for all my rapists and shit like that, any type of uh, evildoers, I'm on your head. Pause. Um. So, you got a, uh, a football star nigga. When he was in high school, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, man, he that nigga. Then he go off in a professional career and football don't work. So he come back to the school. He a head coach getting 200000 a year. Big house, cars. He the man. All right. Um, this is the same story in your city. The coaches there and the coaches at the school are kind of like the trap niggas in the city. Uh, trap niggas start preying on uh, the girls as young as 12, 13 years old because they can, at that time, you can see. And especially if you're in a project, this going on heavy. But even if you're in a suburban area, a trap nigga taking interest in your child, your cousin, your niece, whatever, god child, whatever the fuck, will have her jumping out the fucking window as early as 12, 13 years old. Whatever grade a child is in at that age, um, you understand that there's going to come a time when your daughter, niece, goddaughter, whatever, um, is going to get extremely horny, want to fuck. And it's going to be on the mind of a nigga on whether or not he wants to take it there because she's not going to be able to help herself um, unless you build her up in an incredible 
You know what I'm saying? Like this, I'm, I'm telling you, if you slack the fuck off and you allow the internet, the street, the music, and the school raise the child, and all you do, what happened? If you allow the forums that are out there in the world, like you got to work every day and shit. I'm telling you now, understand this. The children that are left to their own devices will. All right, hold on. Look, we'll get back to the video in a minute. <laughs> this is Aki. It's a lot of new folks, so I need to talk to y'all for a minute. This is Aki. His sister's in the bed right now. The Big Face Podcast t-shirts are finally in. All the colors, all the sizes. We got the female sizes in. So for all my females, we finally got y'all right. We still got the um, Are You Serious t-shirt. So when you send your PayPal, make sure you put in the note which one you want. You can't just say what color and size anymore. You have to let it be known, specify which one you want. Uh, they're going for $20. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. The link is in the description box. Um, also, the Scullies are in. Um, Big Face Podcast Scullies are finally available. Uh, they're going for $15. Go to the same PayPal and do it. To all my people who donate, if you're new to the channel, you donate by going to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. To everybody who donate, listen to me. I'm going to make a segment like once a week just shouting out the folks who donate. Like... I don't know how to explain, like, the love. Like, I appreciate that shit. Love, love. AO Nation is a real thing. I fuck with y'all, man. All my people who are trying to get promoted on the show and shit like that, whether you are a product, a business, or a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You know what the deal is. $200 is a base price, but as a rapper, if your music ain't up to par, I'm, it's not going to happen at all. Like, you have to have good music. Like, we don't rock with that bullshit over here. Uh, fall to the world. They gonna fall. Their child gonna fall. The girl child gonna fall. The boy child, you know, you got all this play football and everything like that. The boy child gonna be fine. His biggest threat is being killed by the police and shit like that. Other than that, the child straight. But as a girl, run away, pregnant, rape, kidnap, murder. You want me to get the list again? Niggas, this is the head coach. This is, I'm, let me, I'm going to show you the video of this nigga. Let me see, hold on. I don't know how far back he is. But as a trap nigga, you get the, the cream of the crop. You get the pick. As the head coach, you get the cream of the crop. You get the pick. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? Understand, I, I not once did I say a motherfucker got to look like Chris Brown or Trey Songs. That's not what the little girl is looking at. She's looking at how, first of all, he's older. That's all really she wants. That's how, you know, you get a, um, any first, let me tell you this. If you are out of high school and you hang out at the high school, you're fucking, to me, you're a rapist. You lame as fuck. Um, I used to, to be honest, I'm talking about real to you. I, I used to think that niggas that fuck with white bitches was lame as fuck. Because it's like my nigga, like, you just gave up. You just gave up. Like, you just fucking, like, anybody can do that. Like, that's easy as fuck. Like, if you fuck with a white bitch, like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like... It's easy shit. Like, why the fuck would you be... And, and he going with her? Any nigga can fuck her. Like, just because he a nigga or whatever like that. No, she going to go. That's how I used to think. You know what I'm saying? Because in high school, that was a deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just grab a white bitch and take her behind a bleach or... You know what I'm saying? Behind whatever. And get you some head. Whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know what I'm saying? Get your first kiss or whatever like that. Uh, Whatever you want to do. Or, or, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't or fuck her, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? It just, that's, that just seems extremely dangerous. 
Like this, this very, very dangerous. Um, but it's niggas that it's not. I don't. I'm not one of those people who believe that pedophilia is a sickness. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of them people who believe that motherfuckers is born gay. I'm not with. I'm. I'm not with none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um. So. Going after easy targets, that's what it is. Going after easy targets, to me, says, okay, you have the makings in you of a rapist. Um, this is, this. these are the lines of fucking a mentally retarded bitch, and we're about to talk about that. Anything that, you know what I'm saying, trying to get a bitch drunk and high to fuck her, that's all rape shit to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, I just, I don't, I guess because hoes have... I say always, but I was a virgin until I was 17. You know what I'm saying? Um, by the time I understood who I was, hoes were always coming at me, whatever like that. So I guess because I, I never really had to, you know what I'm saying, go hard at a bitch, whatever like that. That's where my mind came from. So I don't understand the whole, I don't understand, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't understand the whole giving a bitch money shit. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I've always been on the other side of that also. You know what I'm saying? So, these things are foreign to me, and it and it looks it, it looks rapey to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, going out of your way to fuck a bitch on some shit is like, is that serious? Is that serious for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and not even just to fuck a bitch, like, to keep a hoe. Like, do you really believe that you, that hoe wants you? Like, you, you, so you, in your mind, it's never clicking that she's with you because of the money. It's never clicking that there's a, there's a reason other than you why she's around you. And I don't like that. Like, that, I, I, I don't, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back to it. Uh, with the girls already being ready to fuck at this age, learn about their body just like little boys is. Um, it's cool, in high school, you gotta remember back, it's cool for a girl to be fucking with an older dude or a dude that's not from where you're from. Um, if you fuck with a dude at that school, he needs to be, you know what I'm saying, a jock or some shit like that. This can't be no normal nigga at the school, or you just a, you know what I'm saying, it's all about status in high school, and, and that's why Instagram and Facebook work so well, because, as I tell you, the majority of, um, these bitches don't grow mentally after 16 years old. Um, after, what is it? A motherfucker will tell you 25 for a dude, that's when his body starts going down before a bitch. It's like 18. Maybe, maybe 20. Maybe 21. Whoo! But if a hoe keep herself, you know, if she don't have no kids, it might be 25 for her too. Uh, to be honest. But I just don't know hoes that don't have no kids by... 21. Every bitch gonna have a kid by 21. And when I'm when I'm saying that, I'm, I'm talking about in real life. Of course, there's exceptions to the rule, but where I come from and in the world that, you know what I'm saying? Every bitch got a baby by 21 years old. Just what it is. It's, it's, it's not normal for a hoe to be 21 years old and you gotta ask the hoe, you know what I'm saying, where her baby at and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If she ain't got a baby with her, the baby with a, you know what I'm saying, the daycare or babysitter. Some shit like that. So, <clears throat> bitches want to fuck early. And I'm saying this because I don't give a fuck how you feel about your daughter as far as, oh, she won't do that. Oh, just, she, oh, she cares about at school and all that other shit. I'm trying to tell you something, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you something. And if it doesn't happen to you, it's because they didn't take aim at her. But for if all of y'all who have a um, attractive daughter, good hair, has a body and everything like that, she started to develop early, you know what's going on. And this is why, as Katrina Gibbs says, you have to raise your kids. You cannot just send them to, to school, daycare, friends, 
always going somewhere. You have to raise that child, not just as no baby. Like, this is why you need to think about what you're doing before you actually have a child, you retarded bitch. Because you're not going to be able to raise the child. You're just going to be able to provide for it. But that's not enough. Katrina Gibbs says, like, you treat your fucking kids like a pet. Feed them, clothe them, give them shelter. A child needs so much more than that. You have to give them their identity. So if you're not all the way developed, but this is the whole part of the system because you feel like you're all the way developed. You feel like you're already that bitch. So you think that right now is the time to have a child. And then you find out later on that you made a horrible mistake and you curse the child because you weren't able to protect her. Anything that happens to that child is your fault. Because you could have waited until you were financially, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally stable before you brought her into this fucking war zone that we live in. Knowing that everyday climate, knowing that the coach at the school that is 40 fucking years old wants to fuck your daughter with no condom daily. Knowing that you do not have the money to get down the fucking road. You had to get a ride to go take the fucking pregnancy test. Somebody else had to give you gas money because the nigga that got you pregnant don't got no fucking money. And that, that wasn't a fucking sign that I might need to goddamn. This probably ain't the time. So it's your fault. Um. So you got a coach at the school. He a man. Let me talk to my niggas right fast. The only reason you not in Sean Williams' shoes is because your job is not to be around bad bitches all day. This nigga pretty much worked at the strip club. He worked at a fucking high school. He holds his 16, 17, 18. A whole, a 16-year-old bitch, a bitch started getting in the club at 14 years old. It's hoes that was getting in the club at 13. And nobody in the club knew. Because she built like that. A 16-year-old bitch. I'm, I'm walk with you. A 16-year-old hoe is built like a 25-year-old hoe. Mentally, the 25-year-old hoe is equal to the 16-year-old hoe. They talk about the same shit. They want the same shit. Baby, hair, and sex. That's it. They both watch Love and Hip Hop. They watch the same shit. They, they phone the same color. They got the same phone. Drive the same car. And this is why I speak and say, any nigga, I was telling Big C, I'm like, my nigga, if I'm hollering at a nigga man and I meet his bitch and that hoe has the conversation of a teenager... To me, that nigga's a rapist. He's a fucking rapist. Like, you're taking advantage of someone who's not mentally compatible with you. Y'all on two different brainwaves. She's a fucking child. If the only thing that stops you from finding that girl attractive is her fucking ID, you're a fucking rapist. Because that ID could be fake. By a motherfucker conversation, you should understand where they at. I don't give a fuck if I ID say 25. The whole is talking about crayons and door to explore. It's a fake ID. So if a 25-year-old bitch is talking about love and hip-hop and her nails, and she and she has she can't pronounce words correctly. She she holds a fork like this. No table manners. Don't got a driver license. That's a fucking ID. You know what I'm saying? Don't got a car. Don't got a house. You stay with a mama. 
She has all the makings of a 16 year old, but she showed you an ID that said 25. Why wouldn't you think that was a fake ID? I'm asking a question. She has everything that makes her look like a fucking 16 year old, but the ID says that she's 25. That's when you have to use your own discernment because even if you get a bitch pregnant that showed you a fake ID, you still going to jail for statutory rape. If all it takes is for a motherfucker to have an ass, for you to, you know what I'm saying, wanna, even if, the, like, no, she got an ass but a pussy stain. Fuck it, I'm going in. So this hoe don't even know how to clean herself. But fuck it. And this is what I'm saying. A lot of you niggas weren't, a lot of you niggas weren't able um, to choose your bitch. You had to take what you can get. And if the bitch happened to have an ass, then you won. You have to remind this bitch to take baths. She doesn't like taking, you have to go in there and make sure that she's not just running the water and wetting her hair. And she's 30 years old. So a lot of you niggas are blessed because you weren't as blessed as Sean Williams. He was a such a good football player and shit like that that he was able to get a college degree free and then come home and be a head coach. Only to be around and he was he was the head coach of the football team, but I think he worked and he was he was some other kind of coach. So he was seeing these hoes during when they gotta go to PE time. Do you know that these hoes Every, and another thing is, all the kids at the school is being real closed mouth. They don't want to say nothing about none of this shit because everybody at the school fuck with them. This nigga already been uh, cited for fucking the teachers. And which one of us wouldn't do that? You at a school, everybody want to fuck because you the star? If your mind is not on that level, you gonna fall. A lot of these hoes is 17 going on 18. A lot of these hoes is 18 going on 19 at the school. Might be some of these motherfuckers, some of these hoes at this school, at the high school, might be 25. Depending on how fucking retarded the school is. And how deep in the hood it is. Y'all motherfuckers trying to get their GD in the school. Going to school with the motherfuckers just getting here with the freshmen. Everybody fucking in the bathroom behind the bleachers. You know what the fuck going on, dog. That's why you have to prepare your children before they get to school. So that they can see and identify, that's not right, that's not right. I'm not getting involved. I'm here to get my lesson and go home. Not I'm scared to get my ass whooped. Maybe in, in you know, elementary and intermediate and shit like that. But going into high school, it shouldn't be I'm scared to get my ass whooped. That's wrong. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to do it. But if you've, if you've had to work all of your child's life, you bought them an iPhone, you getting them presents and everything like that, but everything you've given them is just getting them more bound to the system that wants them to fail. And you expecting success. And you thinking it's all love because they're not getting bad grades and they're not getting in trouble at school. But what is that mind like? School wasn't hard. All you had to do is follow the rules and regurgitate what it is they told you. You didn't have to make no original thoughts. They didn't get graded on a, a thesis paper where they had to come up with an original idea. They were graded on how well they remember what the fuck they were told. You can do that shit with, with uh, fucking playing memory. 
the card game. So you trick and you psych the fuck out. So you thinking, all right, yeah, I, I didn't pay this, I didn't pay that. Kid doing good in school, good kid. Except she pregnant at 14 now. Because it takes two to tango. Just like a bitch would tell you. Just like a bitch would tell you now. A bitch going to tell you once you get the whole pregnant. you be like, hold on, man. I ain't with all that shit. I didn't get pregnant by myself. Take two to tango. So that girl had that on her mind. And she wasn't the only one. Just like every little girl want to fuck the dope boy. Every little girl want to fuck the head coach. So as your little girl is going to school and you thinking because she got good grades and she don't get no fights, it's all love, please, please understand that when you was fucking, your mama and them thought you was just a perfect little motherfucker. You knew how to act in front of grown folks and you knew how to cover your shit up. That's what you was good at. You had a goddamn baby at 16 years old. 13 years old. Because your mama brought you in when she didn't have her shit together. With a nigga that ain't want him. The daddy need to be there. So you got this nigga, man. And I, let, let's go ahead and look at this nigga, man. This nigga in the car doing an interview. With some white man. I, I can't get in my car. Look at this nigga face. Listen to him now. Listen to how well he's talking, knowing that he's fucking the teachers and the students, and the whole school fuck with him. And and this this and this way, I I I I told my nigga, I said the nigga got too comfortable. You didn't you didn't stop fucking the whole with a rubber now, so you passed the point of knowing that this shit is wrong. Nigga, you at home now. Ain't nobody gonna tell, but you ain't have sense enough. To, if you're going to do it like that, take that hold on to the goddamn... I guess you can't then. Ha! <laughs> I fucked up. You can't take the bitch out of the fuck. He's going to drive her down there like, yeah, she need to get a goddamn... She need to get the defo shot. The fuck? <laughs> so he was stuck. But this nigga wasn't going to wear no condom. Y'all niggas won't wear no condom. But y'all look at this nigga, man. He just failed victim. A lot of you niggas work for the city. You niggas got... Uh, job where you just around niggas all day And you be thinking about fucking When you see a bitch walking or some shit like that You see a bitch on your Instagram You think about fucking in Imagine if you in a classroom And hoes are coming to school Letting you know they want to fuck Just I'm trying tight pants Tight everything You know how them hoes coming to school <sighs> Nigga please And you Nigga You can't you can't, nigga. You fucking ugly bitches. You fucking bad built ugly hoes. How the fuck you gonna hold yourself down with nigga? The 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 nigga. These bitches, no stomach, just straight ass and titties. Just, and and pretty hoes ain't started smoking cigarettes. They ain't got no kids, no stress in their face. Nigga, please. Nigga, please. So, I, I don't want you niggas to... Nigga, this, this is a show for the hoes. I don't want you niggas to, to wag your finger and shit like that. And I don't want you bitches to wag your finger either. Because it's your fault that the whole at school fucking. You know what the fuck going on. You wanted to fuck at the coach when you was at the school. So, don't nobody need to wag their goddamn finger. If you a nigga, you would have been in that whole fucking all the hoes a sloppy weight. But you probably all fucked up. You'll probably be the fucking... The uh, cafeteria worker. You the only nigga. You you the only male cafeteria worker in the whole goddamn school. 
fat and, and nigga ain't looking like shit, you wish them hoes would fuck you. Now you going home beating your meat to memories of them hoes walking down the hallway. Now you trying to rape hoes for real, grab them bitches and take them off campus. Don't you wag your finger in no goddamn body. Nigga. Because if you ain't got, if you not rocking with the three S's, nigga, you susceptible. You susceptible to goddamn temptation. Period. If you ain't got control of what, if, if you didn't cheat on your wife, if you didn't cheat on your girl and, and this is where your house is at, nigga, you would have cheat, you would have fucked with them high school hoes. Period. Because them hoes is 18, 19, all kind of ages in that motherfucker. So it wouldn't necessarily be illegal. Nigga fell victim. He fell victim. And this is what I'm trying to speak to you about. Look at this motherfucker. Listen to what the fuck he's saying. He sound just like any upright motherfucker would sound. And, and listen to this shit now. These be the motherfuckers who will look down at you when they see you at the grocery store with your dirty clothes on coming from work. Like, yeah, see, you should have got them with the college. Because you got to work hard all day. He just at the school with the hoes, fucking and shit like that. Getting paid 200000 a year. Don't let nobody look down on you or make you feel bad about yourself. Because if you cannot see their flaws, believe that it's some deep. Everyone has a flaw. Everyone is flawed in some type of way. Don't you goddamn look at a motherfucker and think, goddamn, I wish I had that. Please believe the home front is fucked up. Nigga fucking little girls, man. And ain't just got caught yet. Look at these motherfucking coaches and raise your motherfucking girl children. So if they don't fuck the goddamn coach and get pregnant, they ain't gonna fuck the goddamn trap nigga neither. But if you working all day, it's gonna happen. Listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. If you working all day, it's gonna happen. If you not spending 12 hours with your children, it's gonna happen. So have your shit together to where the only thing you have to focus on once the child get here is the child. If not, a nigga gonna be knocking the boots off and a bitch, not only she gonna get pregnant, she gonna have the goddamn baby. And hit you with the same shit hoes hit a nigga with. It's my body, it's my choice. Blow your whole motherfucking lid because you thinking you did something better than what your parents did for you. Find out you didn't did the same shit. Just put them out there and let them to the goddamn slaughter. Because you're not raising them, you just providing for them. The phone is raising them. The TV is raising them. The music is raising them. This is why I don't fuck with these goddamn rap niggas. Because they doing a white man work. And I, I, I ain't going to say what the fuck I want to say. Because I got to do some more research on it. But I got a big motherfucking ball shell. Me and DJ put some shit together behind the scenes. Y'all go get that olive leaf extract too. The three S's. Sobriety, solitude, celibacy. Until you have your shit together. Until you are where you want to be financially, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. You need to get the fuck away from everybody. You need to get the fuck sober. And you do not need to be passing no spirits or energies. And you don't need to be contracting no motherfucking energies. AIDS, HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, Chlamydia and all them fuck, that's not the only goddamn STDs that there are. Sexually transmitted demons. Play with the shit now. You ain't gonna be on the fucking Big Face podcast and be talking about your stupid ass nigga. And the mama too. Motherfuckers. Big Face podcast, A.O. Conseco. Hit the PayPal. See you on a minute. Love.